What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny and holy shit was Endgame an experience. Anyways, black is one of those perfect colors, I mean lack of color, that should be in everyone's wardrobe. Everyone needs at least one black jacket, one black shirt, one black pair of pants, black socks, and black shoes. But as we all know, black absorbs a ton of heat. I mean, I know my Asian peeps have all had a black Honda Civic at one point. Come on man, don't lie. And yeah, big surprise, I had one too. Yo look at me, I'm so cool! Getting into one of those is probably like an episode of Hot Ones. Woo. <laughs> Everyone is saying, wear pastels for summer, wear this, wear that. No. No. You wear what you want. I want to wear black, alright? So let's talk about how to wear black when it's <laughs> So the first step is to deal with it. Yes, it absorbs heat, but like in the winter time, I'd be wearing distressed pants, and there's nothing you can really do about it. As long as I'm looking fly, I don't really give a fuck. Well, same mindset for summer, just deal with it, bro. So yeah, speaking about what I said about the winter months, that's exactly what you want to be rocking this summer to stay cool. Richie lead, I mean distressed clothes, particularly distressed denim, not the distressed shirts. Those were hot in 2016, don't be that guy. Anyways, a nice pair of black distressed denim adds some character to your outfits. You get the air vents from on your knees that'll help give you some breathability, and it is a pair of pants that can go with anything because of its absence of color. Personally, I like wearing black distressed denim with a white tee, fitted tee, or colored shirt that color blocks really nicely with my kicks. Simple. You got your pants, you just pick out a shirt, and then wear a color that complements your sneaker to that shirt or vice versa. And if you don't have distressed denim, there are DIYs out there on YouTube, or you can just cut the pants for some ankle breathability. The third tip to wear black in the summer is that you need to wear the right material, especially on top. Our core and our heads give off the most heat so you're gonna want a piece that keeps you cool not to mention absorbs the odor from your gross ass sweat there's materials out there like linen and bamboo and all that yes you still gotta deal with the heat but you can handle it better if you have a piece with breathable material I personally have never really liked linen I don't know why probably just me but there are shirts out there that are essential for your wardrobe that are made from breathable material so I'd like to thank essentials for sponsoring this video because their essentials tee is honestly one of the best shirts I've ever worn bamboo does absorb odors so you you ain't out here smelling like a confined New York sports club gym full of teenagers. Gross. Put on some deodorant, man. Anyways, Essentials just launched last Saturday, and I told you, man, they're close out just like that. Since this is about how to style black when it's hot, I'm definitely going to suggest that you guys cop their Essentials black tee because they still have some in stock. But they aren't just a t-shirt company, they focus on basics and essentials that every dude needs. They've got new colors and new pieces for this collection, you don't want to miss out on this launch or you're going to experience what it's like to get Endgame spoiled for you. Now I personally like the Henleys because they are probably the easiest shirt to style during the springtime. Sometimes for spring it can get really hot during the day and then at night it cools down a little bit and then you stay perfectly warm without having to care an extra jacket with you. Now for me, I sized up on this one, I'm wearing a large. Because with Henleys, I do like it to be a little bit more drapey and not skin tight. And then my go-to fit with this Henley, since this is a how to style black without staying hot, is I like to wear it with a simple pair of black stretch denim and then a pair of white leather sneakers. And trust me, fellas, if you lift, Henleys are the perfect shirt for you. The ladies love it on guys. And they also have a ton of new items in their collection from the Essentials underwear, of course the Henleys and the long sleeve polos. So make sure you guys click the link in the description, use my discount code jty10 for 10% off and make sure you cop your essentials before they do sell out. These pieces are easy to style, keep you cool, make you look like you've been lifting weights and are pieces that'll last you a long long time. And yeah, free shipping for the Murricans and cheaper shipping for everyone outside the US. Go cop one man, link in the description with my discount code. Otherwise just find a t-shirt with the material that'll keep you cool. Stay away from that thick French terry cotton. Make sure it's a lightweight material or a material that repels odors. You're gonna sweat regardless. And last but not least, I definitely recommend avoiding the all black look. Now you can totally do it. This is just a recommendation. I've done it myself a lot, but boy, are you asking for an ass whooping? from the sun. So what I like to do is always keep one piece black if you're gonna wear black. Usually it's a black shirt and to contrast the dark tone of that shirt, I'd wear light pants and a light colored sneaker. If I'm wearing black pants, I definitely will wear a bright color that doesn't absorb heat and then white sneakers. Those are just my go-tos for summer because layering is out the window and trust me, I'd love to go layer, but layering in the summer is a no-go. You are asking for a second ass whooping from the sun. Alright fellas, I hope you found this video helpful. Follow me on Instagram, it is flywithjohnnytai almost at 10k and leave a comment down below on how you guys stay cool in the summertime and until then stay fly make sure you guys check out essentials use my discount code and i'm out man peace